Hey, what's up, Taurus? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. See the energy between you and the person on your mind. Keep in mind that these are general readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. What's going on with Taurus and the person on their mind? Hmm. Okay. I see. It's going to be a lot of healing for you after this. That's for sure. The overall energy is the sun. Focusing on, on happiness, what you don't see coming is the King of Swords. A lot of determination in something, in some direction. Success in some direction, which is really well, really good, I mean. Um, your energy right now towards this person is the Eight of Swords. There's no, you're not moving towards this person. You're not. So what I'm seeing is maybe some boundaries, uh, boundaries being put in place uh, between you and this person. What's crossing is the Queen of Swords, and that for me, crossing is like either someone's lying or someone's being really clear, and it's that hard truth that hurts, you know? Very determined, again. Their energy towards you is maybe wanting a reunion, maybe wanting to bring things back together. This is the halfway to marriage card. So I see maybe wanting something here. I don't see action on their part. That's for sure. I do see action on your part, but I don't see you moving towards this connection. I see you moving away from it. Their intentions with the Ace of Swords is quick movement, obviously. That's what the Ace of Swords is. It's like intention and, and quick movement. But Knight of Pentacles is their actions. So they could talk all the they could talk about this. They could talk about that. I want to do this and I want to do that. And I want to go here and do this with you and that. But there's no movement. So um on your part, I see you not making any moves towards this person. Um, your intentions is a seven of cups. I feel like you have options or you're about to have options and the chariot is your action. And I kind of see you moving away from this temperance is it in your outcome. So there's going to be healing. Let's see. Let's look at the eight of swords. No movement coming from you towards this person. Right now, yeah, you're not you're not moving towards this person. Um, they could have put you in a third party situation. They could have involved you with someone else. Um, I also see you trying to focus on your self confidence right now and things that make you happy. You might be spending a lot of time with friends or trying to. Let me see the four of wands. Four of Wands again. Yeah, see? See that? This person is going to try to offer maybe an apology or something. There might be some... If it's not an apology, it's maybe some communication. I got to be honest, with, with these energies, it's like this person doesn't give you the full amount of love that they have. Because... They possess the King of Cups, but they give you the Page of Cups. That's how I read tarot. If you don't like it, you can go to another, cha another channel. Um, sorry to say it like that, but it just is what it is. I feel like this person is offering some kind of apology. They might even be telling you that they have a lot of emotions for you, but they don't really show it. 
Let's see the seven of cups for your intention. Yeah, you, I, I see you having options. You, some of you could be online dating. Um, I, I kind of just see you hanging back with the hermit here. There's healing going on. The magician just tells me that you have everything that you need to move forward in your life with whatever it is that you want. But the page of swords is telling me you're kind of learning to see what it exactly is it that you want, because whatever situation you just went through was very deep and healing for you. It's got you seeing things different. And you're kind of learning as you go from this point, like what it is that you want, what it is that makes you confused, what you want to avoid, what, you know, that kind of energy is what I get from these cards. Let's see the Ace of Swords. You might be watching them online also and acting like you're not. It's okay. I do it too. I think we all do it. But I won't admit to who I'm watching, you know. <laughs> it's not a Taurus, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, they might, they actually might be really focused on their work right now. I feel them kind of being emotionally, emotionally uh, closed off to a certain extent, trying to get their money back, right? Trying to focus on whatever career they have. I see them really focused on that. To be honest with you, that's where their focus is, financial. So this person could have, I don't know if you guys have a career thing between you, um, they could have picked their career to, to try to advance on that versus versus you. Also, they could be working on their money. You know, maybe they're broke. I don't know. I don't see cards of being broke, but they're working on their finances for a reason. I don't see this person being emotionally available. Let me get one more card for this. I see the expression. I see communication about memories. I see communication about plans being made. I don't see movement towards anything. I got to be honest. This person might communicate with you, but let me see the, the chariot for you because i'm seeing this person kind of just you know not ignoring the past bringing up only the good things yeah all right you're moving away from this person towards another love connection coming in um this person could have very much walked out on you in the past i kind of see you walking out on this person and you know in the current or future coming up with the sun being there, you're headed into a new relationship in the summer or this is my June card. So you might meet someone in the month of June or July. And that's something that might turn into something else. I don't see you really pursuing this person. I see there's healing here for you. There's been with the hermit and temperance. Let's see temperance for Taurus. Yeah, there's been healing. I feel like you dealt with somebody with very impulsive behavior. Um, and I see you walking away from that type of thing. When you see someone that resembles this past energy, I see you running for the hills. That might not come up now with the temperance card. I see that coming up in, a, you know, in the future. So if you don't feel like this now, you will. Wheel of Fortune tells me that you're closing off some cycles here. You're walking away from things that don't serve you. Knight of Swords is you charging towards the future, definitely. I don't like just reading cards like that. This just really feels to me like you're done with impulsive people 
people who just jump at whatever it is. It's what it feels like. You're not dealing with that anymore. Let me pull an oracle card for you. Any advice from Spirit for my Taurus viewer? Advice for the viewer? Read that for you. You get connect with water. And I'm going to pull a spiritualist fuck card for you. And you get meditation, a.k.a. shutting the fuck up for a few minutes. <laughs> oh, I love these cards. Okay, connect with water is first. The water spirits are calling to you as they know you have a connection to natural water sources such as lakes, rivers, oceans, or ponds. They want you to heed your urge to visit the water. This card is a reminder of the benefits being near water brings you. Water relaxes your mind and body and allows you to feel peace again. You do not have to live on the water, but you may like to book a holiday or visit a place with water to which you feel drawn. That's a beautiful message. And then you get meditation, a.k.a. shutting the fuck up for a few minutes. <laughs> Lots of people say they don't know how to meditate. You are no longer allowed to be one of them. Shut up for a few minutes. See what happens. Yep, that's what Buddha did. Then do it some more. So that is your meditation message. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, hit like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, Taurus.